There is a black hole directly pointing right at us. Don't worry, it's not going to suck us in, as it's 657 million light years away. With the name PBCJ2333.9, or just PBC to make it easier, scientists have reclassified this galaxy after discovering that the supermassive black hole in its center has changed direction and is now facing us. Scientists started to study this galaxy after they noticed its peculiar properties. Their hypothesis was that the relativistic jet of its supermassive black hole had changed its direction, and to confirm their theory, they carried out multiple observations. Due to the fact that PBC formerly spewed out jet material on either side, which was staggering 4 million light years across, roughly around 40 times the size of our own galaxy, it was once categorized as a big radio galaxy. When astronomers peered into it and realized that PBC was directly pointing at Earth, it was quite a shock. It denotes a 90-degree rotation of the galaxy, making it a blazar, a galactic point with a jet pointing towards Earth. The most striking feature when seen with radio waves are the two enormous lobes on either side of the galaxy, formed by the black hole's jet material. As the lobes are not being fed by the nucleus, we can assume that they are ancient. On the other hand, the structures seen closer to the nucleus are younger and active jets. It's unclear why the axis of PBC changed. One theory is that PBC crashed into another galaxy, altering its axis. In either case, this finding illustrates how little we actually know about black holes, let alone the cosmos. What are your thoughts? Feel free to comment down below and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Welcome to Star Extreme. There is a little space for everyone here. Now, coming to the more concerning part that you are eager to listen. Supermassive black holes are incredibly far away from Earth, with the closest one being located about 26,000 light years away in the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Even with the supermassive black hole pointed directly at us, its gravitational effects on Earth would be negligible. Furthermore, black holes do not emit any light or radiation that could harm us. Instead, they are detected through their gravitational effects on nearby matter, such as stars and gas. So, while a supermassive black hole pointed directly at Earth would certainly be a fascinating astronomical phenomenon to observe, it would not pose a danger to our planet. And yes, we need to learn a lot more about the topic. While it's highly unlikely that a supermassive black hole would start coming towards Earth, but if it did, it would take millions of years for it to approach us, and we would likely have plenty of time to prepare and take action. However, let's assume that a supermassive black hole is indeed coming towards Earth. In that case, the view from Earth would gradually change over time. Initially, the black hole would appear as a distant point of light in the sky, much like a star. As it gets closer, its gravitational pull would become stronger, and it would begin to distort the light from stars behind it, creating a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. The closer the black hole gets, the more pronounced this effect would become. Eventually, the black hole would get close enough that its tidal forces would start to affect the Earth. This would cause the Earth to deform, stretching it out into an elongated shape. As the black hole gets even closer, its gravity would become strong enough to tear the Earth apart. This would happen well before the black hole actually made contact with the planet. The Earth's material would be gradually sucked into the black hole's event horizon, which is the point of no return, beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravity. While this scenario is highly unlikely to happen, if it does, will it be the end? What would we see while falling into the black hole? Let's explore. The Milky Way contains over 100 million black holes, but detecting these has been extremely difficult. However, in April 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope saw the first ever direct image of a black hole, a supermassive black hole, 
at the center of the giant elliptical galaxy, named M87. The boundary of a black hole is known as an event horizon. Although not a physical boundary, it is a point in space beyond which it is impossible to escape the black hole's gravity. Once something passes the event horizon and falls into the black hole, it can never come out of it again. If you fell into a black hole, theoretically speaking, gravity would stretch you out like spaghetti, though your death would come much before you reached the singularity. But what if you could enter a black hole? How would you do it? The first thing would be to choose a supermassive black hole like the one within M87, which is over 3 million times wider than Earth, to visit. This way you would be very far from singularity when you went over the event horizon, about 12 billion miles far. You would float for a long while and may even last as long as a year before you reach your end. What could be avoided though are black holes with accretion disks. Only about 1% of supermassive black holes accumulate these fast spinning rings of matter. As we saw earlier, they can heat up to a million degrees and create large magnetic fields. Such powerful magnetic fields would instantly shut down your nervous system and stretch your atoms into thin rods till you dissolved into oblivion. If you had to visit such a black hole, then it should be entered perpendicular to the disk far from the edge of the fiery ring. As you near the black hole, you will see the light of the universe warped by the black hole's intense gravity. The sky will have streaks of light from the stars and because the black hole bends the light that bounces off it, you might see duplicated objects around you. You will see the entire formation and history of the black hole since its inception. The concept of time slows interminably near a black hole's intense gravity. For the real world, you have slowed so much that you appear frozen, as if seeing as an image on the event horizon. However, for you the motion of the universe has accelerated. If you look back out as you float toward the singularity, you may see the universe go past you, only without you in it. Far-fetched and beyond the realm of theoretical physics as of now, there is one means of escape. If the black hole becomes a wormhole, it could take you into another part of the universe. Spaghettified, no doubt, but who knows, there could be someone or something on the other side that could pick up the pieces of your destroyed quantum information and make you whole again. So, want to go inside a black hole just like in the movie Interstellar and see what happens? Let us know in the comments. And to know how accurate the interpretation of the black hole in the film is, feel free to check out our other video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please be sure to subscribe to Star Extreme. There is a little space for everyone here.